Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutormash.com. In this session, we will be covering the topic Manipulating Delays Using Progress Overrides. This session will be very helpful to all the contractors who work worldwide because whenever they show the progress to their client, they can do some minor manipulation so that the program will never show the delays. So we will see how to work this thing in Primavera. So before that you have to understand there are three scheduling options that is available in Primavera. First one is retained logic. So this is the definition for retained logic. Very simply retained logic is program will always preserve the relationship that you have given between the activities. So that is retained logic. And when you do progress overrides what program will do is program will break the relationship that you have given between the activities. So that's how we manipulate the delays using progress overrides. And actual date is almost similar to the retain logic but it will show negative float. So we will see how to do these things in time over. So before that I will explain you one simple example. Here there are two activities that is activity A and activity B. So activity A has to finish in six days that is day one two three four five six and after activity a activity b will start that is on seventh day and it will finish by twelfth day so this is what you have planned so day six activity a should complete so this is the data date that we're gonna give in this example and we will see what happened on day six on day six when you went to the site you came to understood that the activity A is not finished and your supervisor is asking for two more days. That means activity A will be finished on eighth day. That means extra two days is required to finish activity A. And when it comes to activity B, okay, it is already started on day six. So that is what happened in the site. So when you enter these actual values in program, what program will do? program will reschedule activity B after day 8. That means activity B will be completed only on day 30. That means there is a delay of one day. But as a contractor, if you don't want to show this delay to your client, you can go for progress override because what we have seen is retained logic. When you come to progress override, what happens? program will break the relationship. According to retain logic, program will always preserve the relationship between activity A and B that is finished to start. That is why activity B is starting after completion of activity A. So that is why we got a delay of one day. But when it comes to activity B, which uses progress overrides, program will not consider the relationship between activity A and B. It will automatically start on the very next day that is on 7th day. So that you can finish the activity B by 11th day. That means you are a way ahead in your project. So this is how you manipulate the delay using progress overrides. But I would always recommend that you don't go for progress override because it always break the relationship and breaking relationship never means that you can finish the project on time. Definitely it will take a lot of time to finish the project according to your plan. So if you want to manipulate something like delays, then you can go for progress override. Otherwise you have to always use retain logic. Now we will see the same example that works in Primavera. So let's open the software. 